Hi everyone, welcome to mock classes. In this session, we will see lexical analysis previous year question. Previous year question, first we will solve get questions and then afterwards other competitive exams questions. Okay, so first questions we will check in a compiler the module that checks every character that checks every character of the source text source text is called okay in a compiler the module that checks every character by the source text so then source text you knew that source language first will come okay and this source language one by one character read by the lexical analyzer lexical analyzer here yeah, you can say that analysis phase lexical analysis phase take as an input in the character and output will be generate tokens okay so that is why in the checks every character every character check by the lexical analyzer so option b is correct answer code generator no code generator is the last phase the so last phase we cannot check the source text. source text that means it is the high level language we are checking through the first phase name is lexical analysis now syntax analyzer it is also wrong syntax analyzer taken as a input in the tokens and output will be generated parse tree now code opti optimizer code optimizer code optimizer is also wrong okay so option b is correct answer lexical analyzer now we will see in the match the following match the following has given first abelian groups lexical analysis code optimizer code generation but lexical analysis we have read okay lexical analysis i have explained also to so then this one first we will check it in the lexical and what options has given dags directed acyclic graph pda push down automata finite automata syntax tree the so lexical analysis will be go to the finite automata how I told that in the lexical analysis phase we are using in the which grammar regular expression in regular expression we are using the machine that is finite automata finite automata okay sometimes is given in the finite deterministic automata so, and machine lang machine we are using in the lexical analysis that is finite automata so that is why lexical analysis in the finite automata now code optimization code generation as a dag directed acyclic graph directed acyclic graph we are using in the intermediate code generator intermediate code generator here we are using in the directed acyclic graph and this phase afterwards will come code optimizer code optimizer and then code generation okay so that is why code optimization code generation so both has given as a dag directed acyclic graph intermediate code will be used but intermediate code generation has not given here so then we will check in the next phase next phase what is given code optimizer so that is why code optimizers are using in the directed acyclic graph to now code generation code generation we are using push down automata code generation we are using push down automata now abelian groups abelian groups are using by the syntax tree okay so number two is solved now number three we will check it number three top down parsing lexical analysis runtime environment semantic analysis lexical analysis now here is given in the type checking leftmost derivation regular expression activation record activation records so lexical analysis we are using in the regular expression okay lexical analysis and now we will check it in the top down parsing top down parsing uh, next session i will explain you parser so that times we will check and now in this sort i will tell you that parser has two types two types first is uh, bottom up 
बॉटम अप पार्सल टॉप डाउन पार्सल ओके टॉप डाउन पार्सल टॉप डाउन पार्सल वी आर यूजिंग लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन एंड बॉटम अप पार्सल वी आर यूजिंग राइट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन इन रिवर्स इन रिवर्स ओके सो टॉप डाउन पार्सिंग वी आर यूजिंग लेफ्ट मोस्ट डेरिवेशन नाउ कम रन टाइम इन्वॉर्मेंट सिंटेक्स एनालिसिस सिंटेक्स एनालिसिस फेज वी आर चेकिंग इन दी टाइम चेकिंग सॉरी सीमेंटिक एनालिसिस सीमेंटिक एनालिसिस फेज यू आर चेकिंग इन दी टाइप चेकिंग ओके एंड रन टाइम इन्वॉर्मेंट विल गो इन दी एक्टिवेशन रिकॉर्ड नाउ वी विल सी इन दी अदर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन And now we will see in the next question number four. In some programming languages, programming languages, an identifier, identifier is permitted to be a letter, to be a letter, followed by followed by any number of letters or digits. Any number of letters or digits, if L. and d denotes the set of letters and digits respectively which of the following expression defines an identifier okay so in some programming languages an identifier is permitted to be a letter letter followed letter followed by any number of letters or digit that means letter letter followed by any number of letter or or means plus or digits any number of letter or digits if l and d so that means l denotes four letters l denotes four letters and d denotes four digits okay so then if l and hmm In some programming languages, identifier is permitted to be a letter followed by any number of le letter. First letter will come. Letter followed by any number of letters. So that is why letter followed by any number of letter or digits. Or this is the or. If and will tell. So then letter followed by letter and digit like this. Okay. So then which of the following expression defines an identifier? ओके तो आइडेंटिफायर तो एल प्लस डी एल और डी देन क्लोजर रॉन्ग वाई बिकॉज इट लेटर इज नॉट गिवन लेटर फॉलोड बाय लेटर और डिजी ओके तो देन एंड दिस प्लस दैट मीन दिस प्लस फोर इट इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दी वन इट इज स्टार्टिंग लुपिंग स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दी वन एंड हियर नाउ लेटर फॉलोड बाय लेटर और डिजी Clean closer, clean closer. That means it will be starts from zero, one, two like this. Okay. So then, letter or digit, anything. We can starts from the loop. It is series. Then now L and D clean closer. Wrong because it is not given letter. Letter followed by but and has given and operator is not using or operator. So that is also wrong. Then now letter followed by letter. And digit and will be not come. So this is also wrong. So which one is the correct answer? Option B. Letter followed by letter or digit. Clean closure. Now we will see in the number fifth question. All questions already came in the gate exam. Now type checking. Type checking we are done in the semantic analysis phase. Okay. So type checking is normally done during. लेक्जिकल एनालिसिस नो सिंटेक्स एनालिसिस नो कोड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन रो सिंटेक्स डायरेक्टेड ट्रांसलेशन दिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर सिंटेक्स डायरेक्टेड ट्रांसलेशन वाई बिकॉज सिंटेक्स डायरेक्टेड ट्रांसलेशन वी आर यूजिंग इन दिस सीमेंटिक एनालिसिस फेज ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स इट इज मैचिंग हैज गिवेन सिंटेक्स ट्री अच्छा हेयर एज अ इनपुट सिंटेक्स ट्री टेक एज अ input according to input you will be check it so syntax tree as a input of input of uh, it is lexical analysis to so lexical analysis taken as a input character okay 
and output will be generate tokens and then now come syntax analyzer syntax analyzer input will take tokens output will generate parse tree okay so then syntax tree syntax tree that means parse tree parse tree as an input of semantic analyzer semantic analyzer has given okay so syntax tree as an input of semantic analyzer now character stream character stream it is an input of lexical analyzer the character stream as an input of lexical analyzer now intermediate uh, this one first we will check it token stream token stream as an input of syntax analyzer so then token stream as an input of syntax analyzer now intermediate represent intermediate representation is a code generator okay so this question also we have solved and the next questions now i will tell you that in the tokens how to find the number of tokens okay now we will see in the seventh number question the find the number of tokens how to find the number of tokens here number one has given do 10 i equal to 1.25 so the number of tokens that means you have to count one by one identifiers um, symbols operators everything but white space we will not count it okay because lexical analyzer remove the white space comments okay so that is why here number of tokens is one two three four and fifth so number of tokens is five now second question printf one small bracket open that is 2 within the inverted comma it will be count 3 within the inverted comma it will be count 3 then 4 next comma i 4 fifth again comma sixth and operator 7th i 8 close bracket 9 and semicolon is 10 so here total number of tokens is 10 always remember that whenever we are finding the number of tokens so then remove the white space and comments white space and comments now next question number eight which data structure in a compiler which data structure in a compiler used for managing information managing information about variables and their attributes managing the information so then abstract syntax tree semantic stack parse table and symbol table managing the information managing the information that is symbol table why because i already told that every phases are connected to the symbol table every phases are connected to the symbol table because symbol table store the all data and manage the data so that is why in compile used for managing information about the variables so that is symbol table abstract syntax tree what is in abstract syntax tree? that is wrong semantic stake parse table everything is wrong now next question in a compiler keywords of a language keywords keywords of a language are recognized during it is lexical analysis why because character character are identified in the lexical analysis phase so code generation wrong answer parsing is also wrong and data flow analysis is also wrong answer lexical analysis is the correct answer because keywords identifiers because set of tokens set of tokens token identified the keywords um, identifiers operator symbol all are uh, are called in the tokens okay so tokens generated by generated by lexical analysis phase so that is why in keywords of a language are recognized during the Lex lexical analysis phase if type checking is given so type checking it will be come in the semantic analysis phase okay so thank you everyone those are watching the videos and these are the lexical analysis questions in the number ninth okay so lexical analysis has only given in the nine question here in the one question more that is tenth questions has given only in the lexical analysis phase and the next session we will check it in the cement uh, syntax analyzer syntax analyzer another name is parser so next session i will explain it 
and then afterwards we will solve it in the all the questions and if you are interested to join the telegram channel your whatsapp groups in the about sections has given in the link that place you can go and click it and then directly you can join there and in the telegram channels i am giving in the any job related of the computer science okay so thank you